Calavero is Warframe's latest frame involving knives, stabbing, and much more. In this video, I'm covering how to get Calavero, what his abilities are, and more. Also, as you read in the title, he is a glass can, which I will explain a bit in this video talking about some of the problems with Calavero. But other than that, buckle up and get ready for some Calavero. NPCs call him Calavero. I don't think I pronounced that right, and I won't pronounce that right, so I'm just calling him Calavero. Calavero's acquisitions from Duviri Paradox. You have to do a boss fight in order to get Calavero's Bane in the Sorrow, Fear, and or Anger Spirals. Also, if it comes back, the Calavero's Hold Node, which is a Sorrow Cycle that is a lone story with the final step before the Aura Worm fight is fighting Calavero. The Calavero's Hold Node also requires 5 Pathos Clamps in order to enter. In Normal Mode, you can get 4, 5, or 6 Calavero's Bane. If you play on a Steel Path, you say this, you can get 6, 7, or 8 Calavero's Bane. With Calavero's Bane, you can buy items at the end of a spiral. You can buy the blueprints for Calavero and the blueprints for a shotgun, the Rauta. Calavero and all his parts cost a total of 42 Calavero's Bane, with the main blueprint costing 15, while the parts require 9 each. The Rauta costs a total of 30, with the blueprints costing 12, and the parts 6 each. That means to get both the Rauta and Calavero, you need 72 Calavero's Bane. If your RNG is terrible and you're not playing Steel Path, then you, need, then you will at most need 18 rounds of killing Calavero, which isn't bad, but a bit of a grind. I don't think I did my math right there, but take my word for that. So after doing that, you need to craft Calervo with the materials from Daviri, which I won't go over in this video, but after like 84 hours, which is probably closer to 100 after getting the materials if you don't have them, you will have Calervo. You could also just spend 600 plat for his collection because, you know, the best way to beat every single game is with your credit card. Time to talk about Calervo's abilities. Starting with his passive, he gets a 75% heavy attack efficiency, 100% heavy attack wind-up speed on all melee weapons. With that passive added, a thing on the Today I Learned this list is a heavy attack efficiency, which reduces the amount of heavy attack takes on your combo counter. I did not know that until recently. Maybe this is because I have two electrons that bounce around in my brain to create some thought, but I did not know heavy attacks consume your combo counter. So we have a melee-based Warframe, and it goes more into that with his next ability. His first is called Wrathful Advance, which, when pressing your first ability, you teleport to an enemy, charging a heavy attack, and temporarily increasing your crit chance. That's pretty sweet right there, and base, it's 200%. And if you hold his first, you teleport to the place you're looking at once you release the button, and you still get the temporary crit chance buff. Wrathful Advance is the subsumed ability, so you can use it on any Warframe, and you could just put it on like Excalibur. Bulk here. Next ability is Recompense, where you unstab yourself and make a circle of knives. When enemies get into this area of knives, they home in on the enemies, healing Calervo. But if they miss, you get stabbed and you take some damage, but it's like two points worth of damage. It's like if you got shot by a level 5 Grenier. If you are at max health, you get shields. Wait, what are you telling me? Overguard? What the hell is that? Anyways, with each strike of the enemy, you get Overguard with a cap of 5k, if this was a couple weeks ago. Now it scales with power scaling, and the base is 10k, so you can have something like, uh, you have something like 15k Overguard. Also, the knives don't need line of sight. They can go through terrain, at least according to the wiki, and which you'll see me testing it, and they go through the walls, so that's cool. Next ability is Collective Curses, which binds multiple enemies. An enemy bound by curse is hit, all enemies suffer a portion of that damage. Increasing your strength increases the amount of percentage that all enemies take when one enemy gets hit. According to the wiki, it bypasses armor for the damage redirection, but enemies with innate damage resistance affect it. When you activate, you will spread mist in a 65 degree angle cone, chaining all in the mist and line of sight. Just remember you need line of sight on this one. Last but certainly not least, Storm of Uko, or his ability which rains knives from the sky. Also, I know in game it says daggers, but knives are funnier. <laughs> Anyways, it rains knives, which is essentially just free damage at a pretty high cost. I'm not gonna lie, but they do slash crits, so I can't complain about the cost. All of his kit is really cool. He's definitely a great Warframe. You know, I did have a part talking about Calavero's flaws, like an actual long part, and I said in the intro I would, but he got buffed recently, and the buffs make it sufficient enough for Calavero. Originally, Calavero had a lower overshield cap, at 5k, which I mentioned. Overshield did not scale with his strength. Oh, and he had a good chance to get just nukes from existence in Steel Path. Not a thing I worried about too much because I don't play Steel Path. Now though, he has Shieldsgate, 
Well, not shield gate, but shield gate for his overguard. It's like 2.5 seconds of immunity. In general, you got some good buffs. So he's less of a glass cannon now. A slight gripe for me was his cost for abilities is a bit too high, but that is just me, in fact. I also think that line of sight on his three being needed is stupid because three doesn't really do much besides chain enemies and doesn't do damage, but the knives don't need line of sight, which do damage and give Calervo his overguard. It doesn't make any sense, but next up, the builds I have. Now, before we get into Calero's builds, if this video has been helpful, drop a like. And we're almost approaching 200 subscribers. We're at about 185, maybe even 190 as we're recording this. So, we're almost there. So, hit subscribe. Anyways, the build. So, okay, as I'm scripting it, i recording. I don't have the build in-game, but I have it on overframe. Or, well, screenshots of it from me making it on overframe. A great Warframe tool where I've created my Calero build. A basic build, but a high-ish cost. I don't have any subsumed abilities on him, and arcanes are up to you, along with the Exila slot. Getting into it, I'm going to strength, range, and duration. Efficiency isn't specified because there are a lot of easy ways to get energy, but if you need it, feel free to put a streamline somewhere. Now for survivability, I use rolling guard, which is just a choice, but I prefer rolling guard. We have equilibrium, which health pickup give energy, and vice versa for energy. It helps a lot for casting your abilities so you don't run out of energy. The rest of the mods are pretty self-explanatory for my range, strength, etc. Just a note, I had a dilemma with this build because I see a lot of people spec more into range as it as it makes the raining death storm knife circle bigger. But I like more strength because more overguard. So what did I do? Well, config slots exist, so I just made another build that is pretty similar but different. One other note is if you have the space for armor mods, I just use them but I prefer using regular mods, just keep it simple for you guys. Also, the aura slot in Overframe, it shows growing power, that's because I intended to use growing power, but I cannot get it before, you know, uploading this video. I'm probably still grinding for it, in fact, and so that's why I'm using Steel Charge. That's just why there's a little bit of a discrepancy in my build, but besides that, that is my first build. Now, my second build, literally the exact same idea, but I have overextended for range instead of whatever I was doing, so feel free to use any of these builds but what I recommend the most is making your own builds and experiment a bit and use what you like the most. Now I have five tips for Calervo. First up is to use Collective Curses and Storm of Uko to wipe enemies just from existence, basically. The reason why is Collective Curses, you know, damage redirection, and with Storm of Uko, which is raining knives, I'm all just gonna die really quickly. Tip two is to keep up Overguard as you can have tons of it and you can cast Recompense quite a few times and if it comes to your health, Recompense heals you. So you have a self heal, a giant bar of health, basically. You're basically just an Elden Ring boss. Also, all the other benefits with Overguard come with it, like not being able to be knocked down. Tip three is if you want more enemies chained, you can just recast Collective Curses. You can, like, oh, I only, cast, I only got two of them. Well, now I got four. That goes into tip four. Hits with his two and four increase your melee combo counter, along with his one, of course, which actively uses your melee. So if you want to increase your melee combo counter, then you can just use your abilities, but it will be mostly using your melee to do that. Tip numero cinco, you can use Wrathful Advance to basically teleport anywhere within range. So you can just nope out of places or get into funny places if you like a smidgen of tomfoolery. Now that is all I have to say about Calero, from his acquisition to tips to play him. Overall, he is a good frame, and he got the buffs he deserves, even though he's still somewhat of a glass cannon. If you thought this video was helpful though, then subscribe and watch these videos on screen, and I'll see you next video. Toaster out.